Hello and welcome to Worcester State University's 2021 Graduate Commencement Ceremony. I'm Barry Maloney and I'm honored to serve as the 11th president of this outstanding university, which was founded as the Worcester Normal School for Teachers in 1874 and has become so much more. To our esteemed guests, trustees, and the friends and family of our graduates who are tuning into this virtual ceremony, I thank you for celebrating with us today. To the students who, by virtue of your hard work, intelligence, and perseverance, have joined the mere 13% of Americans who hold advanced degrees, congratulations. This past year, it certainly took more than the typical grad school effort in order to succeed. If you enrolled full-time in person the fall of 2019, your experience was dramatically different from what you'd expected. If you are one of the six graduates of our first ever all online MED programs, you largely got what you expected. You may not have had to adjust as much as others, but you may well have learned the limits of broadband capabilities in your own home. Most of you had to balance your coursework, adapting to course modality changes with new COVID related demands on your personal and professional lives. Two of you experienced similar work and school COVID protocols as employees of this university. I congratulate Joshua Katz, Associate Director of the Office of Community Standards, and Jenna Bean, Administrative Assistant in the Office of University Advancement for their achievement. All of you have become more flexible and resilient. Adaptability, problem solving are among your lessons learned. They may prove to be just as important in the long haul as the knowledge within your discipline. They can be the tools used in addressing the challenge of our era, which is this. How can we emerge from the pandemic a stronger and better people? The pandemic laid bare inequalities in access to high-speed internet, in access to in-person schooling, in access to quality health care and health insurance to cover hospitalization costs, in whether or not you have a say in your work conditions and can choose where you work. Even in the midst of pandemic lockdowns, unequal justice for underrepresented groups persisted. And we witnessed an attack on the U.S. Capitol, the seat of our democracy, fueled by hate and conspiracy. You've proven your mettle by completing your studies during this time. This celebratory moment represents a life change for you. I urge you to reflect upon how the degree, as well as the experience of the past 14 months, made to redirect your own life. With the hope of a largely vaccinated society on the horizon, we are just now beginning to put the pandemic time into perspective. We've seen many lows, as I said earlier, but also some highs that give us some hope for the future, such as the development of not one, but three effective vaccines in the space of months rather than years. That effort demonstrates that when people, as well as government agencies and corporations come together, there is little that we cannot accomplish. And yet, we are so divided. How can we bridge the divides? As a people, we have learned how interconnected we all are, not just in spreading a contagious virus, but also in experiencing the benefits of inoculation. How do we take that insight and apply it to uniting people? I don't have all the answers to these questions, but maybe you do. I assert that you have a special role to play as we strive to return to a better normal. Bring your brain smarts, your problem solving skills, and the body armor you've forged over the past year. Bring them not only to your workplaces, bring them to your cities and towns and nation. The first ever graduate of our new Masters in Public Management program, Jenny Arupi, is undoubtedly well positioned to help us meet the challenge of our time. But it will take everyone. So I urge you to get involved in community-based organizations, in politics or government, in activist groups. It may sound like commencement speech bromide to say that we need you to change the world, but we truly do. Civic engagement is a central part of the mission of Worcester State. As you engage, wear your Worcester State alumni status with pride. 
and please stay connected with, to us. This class of graduates will always hold a special place in Worcester State's history, and we need your continued presence, your ideas, your contributions to your university, to your professions, to the world. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2021. Hello, my name is Stephen Madaus, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Worcester State University. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I congratulate all of our graduates. As trustees, we appreciate and care deeply about the experiences of our students and feel privileged to share with you on this special day. We know our professors have done a great job giving you the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to reach your potential. It is clear that you have seized the opportunity because you have made it here to this moment today. It may take a while for you to fully comprehend the significance of your accomplishments, but let me assure you that this ceremony, even while virtual, is more than a tradition. It is a vital milestone in your life, one which you will always remember. Again, congratulations. Greetings, graduates, families, friends, and guests. It gives me pleasure to welcome you to our virtual graduate commencement and hooding ceremony. This year, our student speaker is Nikki Collins. Nikki celebrates the completion of her Master of Science degree in nursing education, and we are delighted to have her speak to you on this special day. As you can imagine, this has been both a challenging and rewarding year in the lives of our heroic nurses. Working for over a decade as an emergency room nurse and the last seven years at St. Vincent Hospital, Nikki Collins is one of those heroes. She credits her desire to pursue a career as a nurse educator to those who came before her, training her to be the best possible nurse through direct instruction and modeling how to work as a collaborative unit to serve patients in the best way possible. After completing her undergraduate degree at Salve Regina University, Nikki was accepted to and completed a rigorous emergency room nursing fellowship program in New York. There she began to understand that knowledge without enthusiasm will not make you a good nurse. Her coworkers recognized that enthusiasm in Nikki. And even before entering our graduate program, she was often seen as a resource for her fellow nurses, for physician's assistants, and for the doctors on her team. Her mentors speak about her zeal for learning, her strong compassion for patients, and her unyielding positivity. Her coworkers remark that she often stays past her shift to ensure that her patients are safe, informed, and that the plan of care is thoroughly relayed to members of the team. Rising to the call, Nikki has worked on the front lines battling the COVID pandemic, nursing patients in the ER, as well as working at the Worcester State Vaccination Clinic. Serving her hospital as well as her patients, she also chairs the Emergency Department Unit Council. Nikki believes in lifelong learning. She writes, education is synonymous with medicine. The fact that research exists shows that what we learn directly affects what we put into practice. The more we know, the more we can do, and the more confident we are in the doing. We have a responsibility to our patients, our peers, and ultimately ourselves to be the best possible nurses we can be. I truly believe the greatest thing I can do with my career is to channel my enthusiasm for learning and teaching toward inspiring other nurses, from novice to seasoned, by serving my community as a nurse educator. Our community is lucky to have her, and we are honored to have been a part of her journey. Please welcome Nikki Collins. Thank you, Dr. Wims, for the incredibly thoughtful introduction. It is an honor to have been chosen to stand in front of you today, in whatever capacity that is. Whether I'm staring back at you through a tablet or a desktop or a cell phone, I want to imagine we are all sitting in this room together to celebrate a momentous day in our lives. When I first heard the news about being both nominated and then chosen for this speech, I felt a flood of emotions. I was flattered, excited, nervous. Then, once the initial dust settled, I had a thought. What can I possibly say to my graduating nurse peers, to my mentors, my educators, the university itself, our families and friends, after the year we have endured together? What words do I have that could possibly encompass all of the things I feel about this time in our lives? 
The idea that brought me the most clarity on this feeling was what it means to be human. So what does it mean to be human? It means suffering, as we have all experienced in varying but equally wearisome ways. It means compromising on the little things and the big things. It means worrying about how we will get through it all, but more so, how our loved ones will get through it all. It means, in this digital age, being connected to the suffering and grief of others on a global level and at all times, and feeling sometimes helpless to make a change. For myself and my nursing peers, especially over the last year, it has meant re-examining our roles as both clinicians and students ourselves, acclimating to socially and often emotionally distant working and learning environments. But what it also means to be human is collaborating and connecting and communicating with each other. It means finding a common goal, passion, or frustration in life and working toward a solution together. It means falling short sometimes and feeling defeated, but then seeing a friendly face or hearing a familiar voice telling us, hey, it's okay, we're in this together. It means in times of disagreement and dissent that we recognize each other's humanity and set that in front of deciding right versus wrong. Being human is all of these things, all the time, even when the bad seem to outweigh the good. I hope today everyone has a chance to pause, however briefly, to take stock of the goodness of what it means to be human, both as a means to reflect on how far we have come, as well as to show us how much farther we can go. I feel so hopeful for all of us. My educators and peers at Worcester State have taught me more about life and the pursuit of my dreams than I could have ever imagined. Learning their stories is much like learning the stories of the patients I take care of. No two are exactly alike. Whether we choose to believe it or not, each one of us has something special to share with our community and the world. And this, to me, is ultimately what it means to be human. Finding where your skills and passions meet the world's needs and allowing yourself to grow in realizing these things, even in sometimes haphazard ways. No one is ever too young to lead and no one is ever too old to learn. Instead of aiming to just solve problems, let us endeavor to devote ourselves to these problems, employing the wisdom and expertise of those who came before us and the zeal, open-mindedness, and ingenuity of those who come after. I am proud to stand here today and represent Worcester State's graduating class of 2021. There isn't a screen big enough in this virtual world for me to express the amount of praise and admiration you all deserve. So too do our cheerleaders deserve this praise. The families, partners, friends, coworkers, and bosses who supported us and believed in us. People kept telling us we would reach this moment in time. Lo and behold, they were right. I cannot wait to see what this next generation of postgraduates brings, especially my educator peers, as we have chosen to embark on a journey of sharing our enthusiasm for nursing with others, as so many have done for us. Let us first rest and celebrate our triumphs, and then let us use this rest to re-energize ourselves. The world needs our momentum. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. You have so much to be proud of. Hi, everyone. My name is Connor Zanini, and I am one of the graduate student marshals. Although Lauren Banfield and I are not able to lead the procession at graduation this year, I wanted to talk to you for a bit about your hood. When you got your academic regalia, you received a cap, a gown, and a hood. Your hood is very special as it recognizes the hard work that went into your academic degree and celebrates your university. The master's degree hood is three and a half feet long with a three inch velvet border. My velvet border is light blue to indicate that my degree is in education. The hood's inner silky lining is the same for all of us blue and gold for Worcester State's colors. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Lauren Banfield, and I'm also a graduate student marshal. Now that you have your hood in hand, I wanted to show you how to add it to your regalia. The point of the hood goes over your head with the point facing downward. The velvet band drapes over your shoulders. The hood hangs down your back and the inner silky lining should be turned outward to show your school spirit. I'm going to have a friend demonstrate how to put the hood on me.
There, now don your hood, stand proud, and celebrate all your hard work. Thank you, Lauren and Connor. Does everyone have their hood on? As our virtual commencement ceremony comes to a close, I want to take a moment to personally recognize all our graduates, their families, and their supporters. And I want to thank our outstanding faculty for their hard work and mentorship. You have heard a lot about the global pandemic, the ways it has changed the world and indeed changed us. The other day, someone said to me, at some point, the global pandemic will end. Will you be ready for what comes next? I can say with confidence that our students will be ready. Our education students who have weathered disruptions to their classroom experiences will emerge resilient and ready to return in person to their schools. They are ready with a renewed passion and dedication to bring our children back up to speed in their studies. They have embraced the use of technology in the classroom and are stronger, more adaptable educators as they emerge from remote instruction. Our biotechnology students have mastered their research skills and are prepared to use those skills to tackle future viruses and other health challenges. Our nonprofit management students are ready to lead and assist our local and national nonprofits in their important work. And our public management students will bring a systems and project management perspective to assist community responses to public emergencies in the future. Our occupational therapy and speech language pathology students will be ready to work with clients affected by long haul symptoms, helping them to fully recover from their illnesses. Isolated patients and children with speech and hearing disorders who have been relegated to communicating only through Zoom calls will be well served by our remarkable graduates. Our management students stand ready to help a failing economy and to lead businesses into finding their ways back to economic strength, having learned important lessons about preparing for unanticipated disruptions on a massive scale. Our healthcare administration students will be able to bring a critical eye to health providers, planning and forecasting for the future of healthcare and our response to global emergencies. Our historians will help society to reflect on the impact of this pandemic and will help us to put it into historical context. Our English scholars will provide perspective and narrative witness. Our Spanish scholars will continue their research and will help us to see the cultural impacts of this virus and highlight the disparities and inequities in society. And finally, our nurse educator and community public health nursing students who have been eyewitnesses to this pandemic, meeting it face to face on a daily basis, will be able to take their new skills, experiences and leadership to our hospitals and communities helping them to rebuild exhausted workforces and improve systems and practices. In short, our students are ready. The Graduate School is extremely proud of all of our graduates. We recognize your hard work and resilience and we admire your dedication, but mostly we feel assured, confident that as you move on in your careers and in your scholarship, you will make a profound difference your impact will be measurable and valued. When this global pandemic ends, our students will be ready not just to help us to return to normal, but to inspire us to map a brighter future. Graduates, amid all the pomp and circumstance, I want to remind each of you to make sure that you find a quiet moment to sit in stillness and let your accomplishments sink in. You are extraordinary. Congratulations. Hello, Worcester State University, class of 2021 graduates. My name is Elizabeth Vitar, proud alumna from the class of 2011 and the president of the Alumni Association's Advisory Board. On behalf of the board, congratulations to each and every one of you on your incredible accomplishments, especially during a time of so much uncertainty. For nearly 150 years, Worcester State has provided a transformational education to thousands of ambitious, hardworking students just like you. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this exceptional group of lifetime Lancers, now more than 30,000 strong. 
As you travel your separate ways after graduation, it is my sincere wish that each and every one of you enjoy a happy life replete with personal and professional successes. And that when you reflect on your years at Worcester State, you do so with great affection, pride, and satisfaction. I hope you remain connected to Worcester State University. And I look forward to a time when I can congratulate you in person at an alumni event. In the meantime, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to you today, class of 2021, and welcome to our alumni family. Hi, this is Dr. Linda Larravee, Dean of Education, Health, and Natural Sciences here at Worcester State University, sending my congratulations to all of you who have completed your graduate degrees. Whether your goal was to move forward in an existing career, or to start a new career, or simply just to continue your education, this is a great accomplishment, and we hope you are as proud of yourselves as we are of you. I also hope that you will continue to become a lifelong learner. So congratulations, best wishes in all of your future endeavors. Dear graduates, congratulations from the Dean and the graduate faculty of the School of Humanities and social sciences. This is indeed a great achievement. Welcome to the company of scholars. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I wish you the best as you continue in your career. The nursing profession has a history of shining brightly in uncertain times. Today is no different. Graduates of the Master of Science in Nursing Community Public Health Specialty Track Welcome to the ranks of public health nursing. You have shown very brightly and continued to preserve the spirit of caring. You showed up for your communities when you were most urgently needed. You met the greatest public health challenge in a century, serving on mobile, mobile strike teams, investigating case contacts, testing, immunizing, and providing all important infection prevention guidance to hospitals, schools, and communities. You acted as champions for your patients and your communities. You spoke up for those with no voice. Thank you for fulfilling a promise and answering the call. You went out there and made an important difference. You will truly be an inspiration to those who follow you. Congratulations on your graduation. Hi, my name is Dr. Melissa Dupree and I'm the program coordinator for the Nurse Educator Program. I'd like to give a sincere congratulations to each and every member of the class of 2021. I'd also like to give a special shout out to the graduates of our nurse educator program. Completing a master's degree during a worldwide pandemic has been no easy feat. It has challenged your resolve and your ability to persevere, but you've come out on the other end and you're stronger and you have a greater appreciation for education, healthcare, and sense of community. I am honored to have played a small part in your academic journey here at Worcester State University. I have learned from each and every one of you as I hope that you have learned from me. I am confident that you are gonna make tremendous change in the world of nursing education and your students will be lucky to have each of you. So congratulations, class of 2021. The best thing about graduate school is that the students teach us. Here's what I've learned from this year's early childhood graduates. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education. When little people are overwhelmed by big emotions, it's our job to share our calm, not their chaos. Every day is a new beginning. Teaching is an act of love. Keep calm and love teaching. Thank you and congratulations. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Canew. Congratulations to all of the graduates this year. I wanna send a special shout out though to our education department graduates from all of our programs. We know how hard you've been working. We're really proud of you, even in this difficult year. Congratulations and good luck and go out there and do great things. Congratulations all graduate students and particularly the Master of Science and Management students. You've worked hard, you made a wonderful milestone in completing your graduate degree, and you should be very proud of yourselves. Take a moment to bask, congratulate yourselves and your family and friends, and do great in the world. 
I have all the faith that you will be successful whatever you try. Cheers. Congratulations, Jenny, our first ever graduate in the Master of Public Management program. It's been such a pleasure for me personally to work with you. You brought so much to all the classes you attended and all the projects that you participated in. Best wishes to you. You deserve every good thing and I'm confident of your future success. Much love to you, Jenny. Congratulations, Nonprofit Management Class of 2021. Brittany, Janet, Josh, Mike, and Tina. Thank you so much for being so patient, working so collaboratively with each other, sharing your knowledge, your time, your networks with each other. You do represent the best of the Nonprofit Management Program, and I'm so proud of you. Best wishes to all of you for whatever is next. Don't go too far away. There's much love for you here. Congratulations to the class of 2021. The Occupational Therapy Department wishes each and every one of you the best as you close this very unique chapter of your life and begin to write a new one. We are so very proud of all of your accomplishments and are confident that you are more than ready to step into the role of a skilled clinician, being a change agent, positively impacting the lives of so many individuals. Congratulations. Congratulations from the Department of History and Political Science. You have completed your graduate degree at a truly historic moment. We're proud of you and proud of your persistence toward your degree. We wish you all the best as you go forward from Worcester State. It's a distinct pleasure and honor to welcome the December 2020 and spring 2021 graduates with the Master's in Speech Language Pathology from Worcester State. We are incredibly proud of the work you have done in very trying times. However, through this entire journey, you will have learned so much more than you possibly ever could if you had just stayed in the classroom and done what everybody else does. You've done something different and we can't wait to see what you do with it. On behalf of the entire Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate the fall 2020 and spring 21 graduates with masters in speech language pathology. We are all incredibly proud of the work you have done in incredibly trying times. Take what you've learned, go out into the world and do good. We can't wait to see what you do. Again, congratulations, celebrate and stay in touch. Hello, congratulations to you. You worked really hard this year under unprecedented circumstances. Please give yourself a pat on the back for all you have achieved. I'm honored to have the privilege to be your academic advisor and to have walked this journey with you. I wish you well and congratulations once again in your well-deserved success. Blessings to you and take care. By the authority of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts vested in the Board of Higher Education and by it delegated to the Board of Trustees, the President and the faculty of this university, I, Stephen Madaus, Chair of the Board, have the honor to present to you, President Maloney, the candidates for the Education Specialist and Master's Degrees.